What's up, replay viewers? Let's see who tunes on in. Arjun Aloha, first one in the room, and Michelle Blank, welcome. Good to see you, Terry Allen and Stephanie Gray. Good to see you. Good to see you, Maria Wall. Welcome. Good to see everybody. Welcome to the west end of Coney Island. Let's let some people tune in. Only uh, 16 likes out of 34 viewers. 35 viewers now. But it's a beautiful day here. The sky has cleared up. It was raining earlier today, but as you see, the rain has cleared. It's a little windy out here, so hopefully not too much wind noise on the microphones. But the weather outside is nice. John Capola, good to see you. I'm happy you don't get tired of my videos. Appreciate that. Now the classic sunset video today. We're back out for the sunset. Nice lighting indeed, Beach Bum, good to see you. Good to see everybody, people. Nice and uh, chill out here. Yes, the clock on the screen is, I figured since we're doing a sunset, Arjan, uh, I'll have the clock on the screen so I know what time it is. <laughs> since we're doing a sunset. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know, uh, John Coppola was bad. He had McDon a double, McDouble from McDonald's today. And he hasn't had one in quite a while with no bun. Good to see you, Robert T. Welcome. Good to see you there, Coney Island Jim. Welcome. Thanks for sharing on Facebook. Thank you so much for sharing on Facebook. Let's, uh, let's get up to 50 likes, and then we'll activate the legs. Uh, we're just going to hang out on the beach today. Nothing too crazy today. Nothing special. A rainy day today, so I stayed in the house. It was nice and lazy. It felt good. And now we're just going to hang out here and enjoy a sunset here on the beach in Coney Island. But I hope everyone's having a great Friday. It's Friday already. Look at that. Friday already. But good to see you, Jay Chulo. Welcome. Sipping with Henny and Pepsi. Nice. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, John Capola wants us to know that his count hasn't had anything fast food in... Uh, in two years. Okay, thanks for letting us know, John. So, yes, finally sunny outside. It was sunny. I mean, it was sunny, the, you know. The sun came in and out the last few days. I mean, it, it rained this morning, but the sun's back out. I think we're going to lose the sun, though, for the weekend. I think tomorrow is going to be a mostly cloudy day, and uh, Sunday is looking interesting. Might be rain in, in the area. Uh, it's raining there, Maria. Okay, stay dry, Maria. JK is here. Hello there, JK. Welcome. Keep on hitting that like button. Let's get to 50 likes. And we'll activate the legs. We'll activate the legs. But good to see everybody. So is that a timer? It's a clock, Emily. Good to see you. It's a clock. And it is, mil it is running military time. So it's 5... 57 on my end of the internet right now. Amazing clarity, yes indeed. Sky looks so blue, right? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, it's way warmer than I was expecting it to be outside. Way warmer. But we are coming up to the top of the hour. Sky is beautiful, Jennifer. Good to see you. Welcome. The rain last night was pretty crazy. Yes, indeed. Um, okay. Let's get to 50 likes. Let's get to 50 likes and we'll activate the legs. Good to see you, Diana Lee. Welcome. Well, good to see everybody, people. A lazy Friday for me. A lazy Friday for me.
50 people watching and only 29 likes and two-thirds ratios hanging tough keep on hitting that like button let's get to 50 likes and we'll activate the legs six o'clock here in new york city top of the hour all around the world welcome to the west end of coney island we're here at the end of west west 37th street and that is the gate of seagate right there so cotton wool cloud yes indeed uh, maria wall was getting ready for travel tomorrow because she's going to visit her granddaughter her granddaughter awesome hope you have a great trip out there stay safe safe travels Fifty-one people watching, and now thirty-one likes. Keep my hand that like button. Let's get to fifty likes, and we'll activate the legs. Two-thirds ratio, hanging tough. The new kids on the block would be proud that we're hanging tough with the two-thirds ratio. A postcard shot, indeed. It's nice out here. Sixty-two degrees. Fahrenheit with the wind blowing out of the west southwest. It is really west southwest. It's right here. Wind's coming from right here, west southwest. And humidity's a little a little light. 48 miles, 48% uh, of the current relative humidity. So it's nice and dry out here. Considering it was raining about what two hours ago, maybe three hours ago. Yeah, three hours. Three hours ago. Hoping. I, you know, I, I'm hoping on the on the very outside chance it's going to be a rainbow, but uh, looking at the last radar loop right before I started the stream, uh, the, the spotty showers are over in Jersey and stuff like that. So I don't think, unfortunately, we're not going to. But you never know; this could all change in the next hour. Sunset today at 7:32, so about 90 minutes from right now. But 7.32 will be our, our sunset. Relaxing indeed, Diana Lee. Diana, very relaxing indeed. 60 people watching and only 35 likes. Let's break through the two-thirds ratio. Let's get to 50 likes. And you'll activate my feet. We're not going to do too many steps today. Maybe about 10,000 steps today. Good to see you there, Karen J. McLean. Passes, passing uh, passes a moose head. There you go. <laughs> good to see you, Karen. It's going good there, eh? Going good there, eh? Nice sunny day out here. Nice sunny day. Out here. <laughs> Waiting for the chat to activate my legs with 50 likes. 60 people watching. So at least 20 of you haven't hit the like button. Up to 43 now. 43 likes, 61 people watching. Once we hit 50, I'll start walking around and we'll go down to the beach and we'll take in the ocean view. And remember, if I get a thousand channel members subscribed and uh, being channel members, actually, the Dutch Moz Plus, I can live in this building right here called Ocean Drive. And I'll live stream from the sun. Uh, su I'll live stream sunrise every morning if I ever live there. <laughs> Uh, it's okay, Karen. You know, you Karen, you work with tourists, so I know that when us tour guides work with tourists, we lose whatever local accent that we have. So, yeah, I have I have been I have been um, labeled in like like a non-New Yorker or a gentrifier many times simply because of my voice. So, <laughs> good to see you, Karen Smith. Oh no, the notification failed again, Karen. I'm so sorry to hear that, but happy Friday. Thanks for tuning in. I'm happy you're able to tune in. We haven't even begun yet. I'm waiting for 50 likes to activate my legs. But yeah, for some reason, notification's not going out. And uh, I, it, it's because YouTube is algorithmic. So 60, uh, 66 people watching and only 49 likes. One more and then we activate the legs. It's a rocking chair and mint julep kind of day. That's how the afternoon has turned into there, uh, Diana Lee. Absolutely. The, the afternoon has turned into a, a mint julep kind of day in a, rock, in a rocking chair. But let's do it. We're going to do about, I don't know, about 6,000, maybe 9,000 steps. Who knows? 
I don't know how much walking I'm going to do. I might do a lot of sitting today. We might do a lot of people watching today. But it looks like that sun is going to be right about, ooh, right about here, so. But good to see you there, Dave. Yeah, notifications not going out. If you don't know, so they'll only give you notifications if they think you're going to watch. It's so, it's so ridiculous. I know, Marty. Good to see you, Marty. Yeah, there'll be more people here. Notifications went out. And they're always changing it. I know they changed it recently. Maybe even this week they changed it. Well, let's take a relaxing walk down the beach. We're going to keep it chill today. Yesterday, right, when I... I I'm happy I finished the live stream when I did. It might have been a little bit abru abrupt yesterday, but... Uh, a downpour did hit me in a Duchess yesterday out on the Gansavorda Peninsula. And, uh, but hey guys, yeah, little downpour took us over. It was kind of crazy. But then we were able to head up the bathroom. Then we did some, wandered around the village, did some shopping. It was fun. Got a lot done yesterday. So picnic on the beach. That'll be nice. <laughs> That'll be nice. The Duchess will be joining me at 7 o'clock to catch the sunset with me. So. <laughs> 98 people watching, 61 likes. The likes have slowed down quite considerably considering how many people are now tuning in. But good to see you. Good to see you, Leonard. Yeah, I am lucky. Yeah, I, 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 Leonard, absolutely. I was lucky that the Duchess had an umbrella. It downpoured for a bit, and we were able to get some cover, and then it passed. So it was good. Good to see you, Leela. Welcome. It is nice out here in Coney, yeah. It's way warmer than I was expecting. It's way warmer than I was expecting. It's really nice out. But Lee Goldberg and the AccuWeather weather team did say it was going to be windy, and the wind is pretty strong. We're walking with the wind right now, so it's actually kind of nice. The wind's at my back. It's nice. It's relaxing. But good to see you, DeBailey. Welcome. Out there in London. I don't know why notification's not going out today. Got Angie's notifications two hours last night. Two hours after she signed off. Holy crap. Haven't got mine yet. Okay. Bloody hell. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, notifications are all weird. It, this happens. This, this is like, you know, this happens. So. <laughs> it's one of those weird things. YouTube does. Keeps us on our to toes, if you will. <laughs> Bob Doyle, good to see you. And sorry about the tardiness. I wanted to start I wanted to start the broadcast at 545, but I had to uh, re-up my second connection. So it took a few minutes for the for the uh, Wi-Fi box to uh, get a fresh 30 days of data. <laughs> but Bob Doyle, Carlos, good to see y'all. Welcome to the show. Let's get to 100 likes. That would be fantastic. Audrey B, a tardy for the party? Nah, it's all good. Good to see you. Yeah, cuddling in the rain. That's what I wanted to do today. I did sleep really good last night. And that was no doubt because of the wind and the rain last night. Good to see you, RJ, out there in Colorado. Welcome. Keep on hitting that like button, guys. Let's get to 100 likes at least. Let's continue to keep the two-thirds ratio at bay. You know, it's so windy out here that the, uh, the sand is, like, extra fluffy. The sand is, like, really nice and fluffy. It feels like a... Feels like a fancy carpet. Feels like a carpet at one of them fancy uh, hotels. So it got aerated. The sand got aerated. <laughs> uh, even looking into the wind, it's not like cold, cold. 
Huberto Ortiz, good to see you. I'm having a great day. I hope you're doing well. I'm having a great day. Looking forward to the weekend. Got to give a shout out to tour guide Megan of the Megan Daily. She invited me over to the Panorama Challenge last night. And uh, the Panorama Challenge is something that I can't believe how long ago it was. I live streamed that seven years ago here on YouTube. And um, anyway, she invited me to be part of her team at the, uh, at the Panorama Challenge, which is later on tonight. I got invited to be on Team Influencer, and I'm very, very, I, I, I'm actually quite, quite happy and, uh, and, and, yeah, very grateful. Thank you, uh, Megan, for, for reaching out and inviting me to that. I wish I could go, but I got to get up in the morning to go to work. So the last time I went to the Panorama Challenge, it, it ended at like 11 o'clock at night. I didn't get home back to Bay Ridge until like, it was pushing like 1 o'clock, maybe a little after 1 in the morning. And I know living out here in Coney, I probably get home at like a two in the morning. So, gotta get up in the morning. So, and plus the Panorama Challenge was way harder than I thought uh, it was. It was gonna be. It was very, very, uh, you know, very specific. Very specific questioning questions and topics. And I was definitely for most of those questions, I was like way out of my wheelhouse. I had no idea what people were talking about. So I don't want to hinder the team. <laughs> Good to see you, Cliff. Welcome. I think I got like one question. I, like, I got like one question. <laughs> and, the, and somebody else in the team, had, you know, he, he knew the answer also. And that was it, you know. But everything else, I had no idea what they were talking about. Good to see you, Coaster Kid. Welcome. Keep on hitting that like button. We're up to 85 likes, 108 people watching. Maybe the, a batch of notifications went, just went out. Good to see you, Memzatobe. Welcome and walks in camera out there in London. Good to see you, Ramon, out there in North Carolina. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I think another batch of notifications might have just gone out. But yeah, I would really love to go to the Panorama Challenge, but I gotta, I gotta sleep for tomorrow morning. I need my beauty rest. But I was very honored. I was, I was invited to Team Influencer, so I, I really do appreciate that. Oh, we're like right in a cloud. Yeah, look at this. Like right in the shadow of this cloud. The sun's going to come back out once this cloud kind of shifts over here. We'll be back in the sun. There's a fisherman. There's two fishermen there. There's a fisherman there. Fisherman there. Two other fishermen there. One more fisherman way up there. There's fishermen down here on the beach. Pretty much the only people down here on the beach. And I think we have somebody also walking a dog, right? Yeah, there's somebody walking a dog also over there. Yeah, the red flags uh, mean that the beach is closed, so there's no uh, lifeguards on duty. That's what the red flags mean. It is good to challenge myself, yeah. But uh, I can't believe I live streamed the panorama, the panorama Challenge seven years ago. It's incredible. Now, if you don't know what the Panorama Challenge is, like Cliff Padilla never heard of it, um, the Panorama Challenge happens at the Queens Museum at the Panorama of New York City. And what they do is they get historians to ask, to put out questions, and then you have teams of people who, uh, who try to answer these questions, and which, whichever team answers the most correct questions. And, and usually what happens is like a, lot of, a lot of teams make it each successive round, and then there's like, usually like the standoffs, like, like, like you know, when it's down to maybe two, three teams, that lasts a very long time. So, but they use the, the model of the panorama to illustrate the question. So like they'll show you the location that the question happened in on the panorama and then they'll have the question. And it was intense. It was intense. I had no idea what they were talking about half of the damn time. 
and subjects everything like you know from theater to architecture to architecture types and and uh, you know obviously historic moments you know locations but yeah it was it was intense so but again I'm done. but again I'm definitely honored to be invited to be on team influencer <laughs> I hope Megan and the team that she assembles does a fantastic job. Robinson Lopez is back. Welcome back. Keep on hitting that like button. We're up to 112 people watching and 96 likes. Let's get to 100 likes. Let's get to 100 likes. We have at least 15 who are clearly tuning in and out <laughs> onto other live streams, no doubt. <laughs> Come on, I want to get back in the sun again. I want to get back in the sun again. But yeah, I, I live streamed the Panorama Challenge seven years ago. It was incredible. Can't believe that was seven years ago. It was when, it was, it, it was when uh, live streaming was still new here. Good to see you, INL. You liked it when I went here when it started to snow. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool there, INL. I love, I love coming out here when it snows. It does look cool, right? Yeah, it's like another eclipse, just with a cloud. <laughs> Just with a cloud. But yeah, taking it easy today. Taking it easy today. But I gotta get up in the morning. I know if I go to the Panorama Challenge, I'm not getting home until like two in the morning and I can't afford, I can't afford that. I wanna sleep. But good to see you, Lynette Jackson, welcome. Good to see everybody, people. Ninety-nine. We're almost there. Like I said, there's at least fifteen people who are tuning in and out at this moment. <laughs> Is anything exciting going on there? Nice on the beach. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And we finally hit a hundred likes, and I scared off three people. <laughs> Four people now. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. We're staying above the two-thirds ratio. I really do appreciate that. Good to see you, Tina. Welcome. Maybe, Di Diana, you know, it, it, it requires a lot of research, Diana. It's not something that I could just, like, start researching about because they talk about so many diverse subjects at the Panorama Challenge. You're not going to know everything. You're not going to know everything. So, it's tough. <coughs> Colt Canada, checking in from New, New Brunswick. Good to see you there, eh? Let's grab a Molson there, eh? <laughs> yes, you prefer this? Oh, I appreciate that clip. Is somebody live streaming in Times Square, no doubt? <laughs> Is somebody live streaming in Times Square, no doubt? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's grab a beer there, eh? <laughs> I was, you know what I watched a ton of this morning? I watched a ton of SCTV this morning. Uh, I had it going on in the background while I was playing a City Skylines this morning. <laughs> Good old classic Canadian comedy there, eh? John Candy, man. Oh, my God. So many good little skits. Oh, the sun's coming back out. sun's coming back out. There we go. Sun coming back out. And Bagels and Walks, celebrating 11 months of Dutch Miles Plus. Thank you so much, Sean, for being a member, tried and true blue. 
for the last 11 months. Much appreciated. Everyone follow Bagels and Walks. Fantastic live stream content creator out there in, uh, out up there in the Upper East Side. Hope you're doing well, Sean. Hope you and the, and the family are doing well. And this, for me, it's a lazy Friday. I don't know about you, but for me, it's a, it's a nice lazy Friday. But I'm glad you're enjoying the waves. Look at the reflection of the clouds there. That's really cool. Wow, real pretty. Really nice reflections. Jay, absolutely. Very laid back Friday. All right, beautiful reflections. Yes, indeed. Ooh, we got an electric dirt bike right there. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't mind being on one of those with the Duchess on my back, flying across the beach. That sounds like a fun afternoon. Really pretty out here. No doubt there's going to be more people in the amusement district. Oh, there's somebody up ahead going into the water, or two people going into the water. Walks and cameras celebrating five months of membership to Dutch Miles Plus. Walks and camera, thank you so much for being a member of the channel for the last five months. It's much, much, much appreciated. I'm glad you're enjoying the beach scene here. It is peaceful and serene. Good to see you, CB Earth Day out there in the Netherlands. Welcome. Oh, yeah, people going in the water up ahead. Shout out to all the channel members. Thanks to all the channel members. This broadcast is brought to us in stunning 1080p. And also, thanks to all the channel members, I could have two cell phone connections. One of them I had to re-up just before the live stream started. I was like, oh no, my T-Mobile connection ran out for the month. And the VPN works good now. They did an update to it, so everything is good. We can enjoy peaceful scenes like this in stunning 1080p, thanks to all the channel members. Yeah, soon, I'll, soon we'll be able to go swimming, yeah. I pretty much have the beach all to myself, yeah. Just a few people out here. Well, Coast Kid, thanks to the power of the internet, you are here right now for everyone who wants to be at the beach. You are at the beach with me right now. You guys are here right now, enjoying this. Lad Mom, good to see you, welcome. Everyone follow Lad Mom, follow Foss out there in London. Fine live stream out there. Yeah, I use, uh, I use Speedify, Foss, I use Speedify to merge two networks together. Let's know, said Kia Aura. Palms, welcome. <laughs> Isn't the sound of the ocean relaxing? Yeah. Glad you're enjoying, Diana. It feels like as the sun goes down, the wind is picking up. So. My clouds look awesome. I think the tide is going out. Or just, just went out and it's coming back in. I don't know. I should have checked this before I started the stream. 
keep on forgetting to do that. Like, I got to check the high tide and the low tide and the water temperature and... Good to see you, Louise Poppy, Kia Ora. Everybody follow Louise Poppy, a great live streamer from New Zealand. OG live streamer like myself, everyone. Give Louise Poppy a follow. She needs more followers. She deserves more followers. Always showing the beautiful stuff, as they trans transition into winter down there as we transition into summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. Let's pick some periwinkles. <laughs> I don't know if we have any here in Coney. I don't know if we have any periwinkles in Coney. <laughs> I don't know if we have any. I may have to go to the Botanical Garden for that. Coney Island Gym with all the water details. The temperature right now is 49 degrees Fahrenheit. Low tide was at 534. So yes, we were at the low tide. Now the tide's starting to come back in. I knew I knew that. Thank you so much, Jim. With our water almanac. <laughs> Look how cool that is. Look like got like sun up ahead. We're in the cloud. Peaceful out here. Peaceful. Back behind a cloud again. I should have brought the other camera here. I should I could have done a time lapse with the clouds. Oh, okay. Oh, Jim, yeah, please. I appreciate that, Jim. <laughs> I know I get my tide thing from, well, yeah, it's sea, they, they, they claim it as Seagate. The app I paid $65 for on a whim. <laughs> but it tells me the water temperature. It's really good at Fort Tilden. It's like super accurate. I love seeing the parachute jump too. Really is pretty out here. Always a lovely walk. I, like I said, the wind is, was really strong last night, and it's getting strong again, but last night the wind was really, really strong. Definitely churned up the ocean. The, the beach right now feels like, like a carpet. It feels so nice. It's like fluffy. The sand was aerated. So it's super, super nice. Feels nice on the feet, even though I'm wearing sneakers. But we're going to blink it. It'll be Mermaid Parade Saturday again. And oh my goodness, it's going to be crazy. Very excited for the summer season 2024. Yeah, you see your favorite ride, the Thunderbolt? Man, me too. I love the Thunderbolt. I call it. I call the Thunderbolt the shopping cart with all the love in the world. <laughs> but I do like, I do love getting tossed on that thing. And I am due, I am due a ride on the, on the Thunderbolt. And the Cyclone for that matter. I think I'm going to do, hit that off this weekend. Maybe tomorrow I'll come home. When I get home from work. Hey, <laughs> stop for a minute, let you fish, John. <coughs> Let's fish. Let's fish. Good to see you, Neil, out there in Flatbush. Let's fish. Whee! Now you gotta reel it in. Yeah, just fishing there, eh? Yeah, just fishing there in the ocean there, eh? Yeah, gotta catch some, uh, some grouper there, eh? Maybe some fluke. <laughs> Good to see you, Neil, out there in Flatbush. Welcome. Good to see everybody, people. It's an almanac, it's almanac cousin of guns of war. Maybe, Diana, maybe. In the high, in the high society, aristocratic families, maybe. Good to see you, John Burke, welcome. Welcome to the show, everybody. 
We're just relaxing here, eh? Here on the beach there, eh? I know, yeah, the rides aren't for everyone there, Cliff, I'm sorry. Yeah, the rides, the rides aren't for everybody. On, on a random note, I want to give a, I know this is a really, this is super random about what I'm about to mention, but I want to give a big shout out to the 84th Precinct NYPD. They were actually enforcing no mopeds on the Manhattan Bridge. Um, moped traffic has increased quite a bit on, on the Manhattan Bridge bike path, making it really fucking dangerous. Um, now, it, for full disclosure, yes, I did ride a moped in the bike lane over the Manhattan Bridge on this live stream, but that was the only time I ever did that. Um, I now know that that was illegal, that was dangerous, and uh, yeah, shouldn't have done that, but, it, it, but, I, but I, I did it here on live stream. But um, yeah, the, the increased moped traffic on the Manhattan Bridge is getting really dangerous, so whenever I take my tours over it, you know, it's always super, super nerve-wracking, so... It was nice seeing the police uh, crack down and give out tickets and stuff, so. Shout out to the 84th Precinct. We're gonna have to do something about all these mopeds in the street, um, because uh, while they are very useful and they serve a purpose, um, the lawlessness is kind of getting crazy. Every time the police stop me, stop, stop me or, or, or maybe talk to me while I'm riding my illegal Chinese scooter, uh, they say the same thing, which is, you know, as long as we don't witness you doing anything outwardly dangerous, then they won't ticket me or fine me or anything like that. So if, if I'm showing due caution, they kind of turn a blind eye because there's just so many of them out there. But Douglas Fatiglia with a $5 super chat. Douglas, thank you so much for the very generous $5 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $5 super chat. And I will have a wonderful weekend. Thanks to you, Douglas. Douglas, thank you so much for sponsoring this, this evening's uh, live stream, this evening's sunset. Much appreciated. Ban them all. I mean, I don't think they need to be banned, but I mean, I'm, I am getting to the point where, yes, they should have license plates on them and stuff. And, because they go, they go fast. Anyway, good to see you, Ange. Welcome. Everybody follow Yo Ange, great live streamer from the Upper West Side. Follow Ange and Joe in their coffee-fueled adventures around New York City and beyond. Hope you're doing well there, Ange. Yes. I thought the home opener was the other night. Okay, the home opener is today. Playing against Asheville. I'm assuming that's Asheville, North Carolina. But let's go Cyclones. Let's go Cyclones. <laughs> Let's go, we'll go up onto the pier in a little bit and walk around the amusement district, see what's going on. Good to see you there, Activity 79. Welcome. As we get to the one thing that's closest to being under the boardwalk, under the Steeplechase Pier. Good to see you, Care Max. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone's doing well on this Friday. Well, Cliff, they do require a license, but uh, but the, there's no there's, there was really no enforcement until fairly recently. Oh, okay, it was supposed to be yesterday, but it got rained out. Okay, that that see that I knew that. Okay, because we, I saw the stadium turn o open yesterday. I saw the stadium was turned on. All the lights were turned on, so that makes sense. Eating dinner, doing taxes, awesome, and yeah. I'll be here until sunset, which is at 7.32. Oh, about 58 minutes away now. About 58 minutes away, you like that angle? Pretty out here. Real pretty. Ooh, got somebody playing with a German Shepherd. On the boardwalk, on the beach here, on the beach.
It's peaceful out here. It's so nice. I am still taken aback that this is my this is my neighborhood. This still this still kind of blows my mind that I live here. Sampa asks, do you think they ever bring a ferry to Coney Island? Sampa, good to see you. I wish, Sampa, I wish. The idea is, this is the only way you could ever see a ferry as the water really comes in. This is the only way you're really gonna see a ferry in Coney Island. It's at the end of this pier here. So, um, they're gonna have to make like a rock wave break, like a rock jetty out away from the pier so that the boats could dock without too much wave action. Because that's what, that, that's what prevents NYC ferries to dock here is the wave action. So the idea was that they were going to put them in the creek at Kaiser Park and have the boats dock there because it's kind of sheltered from the ocean. But after they built the dock and spent mil evidently millions of dollars, they realized that the, sh the sand shifts too much in the creek. And during low tide, the NYC ferries will run aground. So in the middle of the night, they ripped away the, <laughs> the pier and uh, they removed it to be gone forever. And, uh, and so, so yeah, so now they're going to spend all this more money to maybe build the ferry here. I hope we get the ferry here. I hope we get the ferry here. Please. Especially for the amusement district. I think it would be a great way for tourists to, to visit the amusement district here in Coney. Well, good to see you there, Activity 79. I'm happy I'm able to help out with your stress. Uh, Maria Wall's wish was when she was young to live on the seafront, but life carried you to the mountains. Okay, well, the mountains are nice. I know for me, I need to be by the ocean because ironically, when I lived in Florida, in central Florida, away from the ocean, I went a little mad and no, no, lakes are no substitute for the ocean, no matter how big. Right, I doubt it too there, and yeah. Hovercraft landing will be great, yeah. But we need more space for a hovercraft landing because that, that, that creates a lot of wind and everything. Ah, awesome, Deb. Awesome, appreciate it, Deb. Yeah, if you guys wanna make a collage or take a screenshot and share it on your Instagram and make sure you tag me and then I'll reshare it on my Instagram and my stories. Deb made an awesome collage last time. It was so cool. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you need to live by big water. Exactly, yeah. yeah exactly, Derek. Uh, Glasgow is like in that direction. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that's pretty much due east. That's the reason why you're mad. I'm so sorry to hear that, Maria. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh yeah, the stadium is going, going. I hear some, uh, some noise from the stadium. Good to see you, Danette. Welcome. Yeah, Coney's really nice today, Danette. Good to see you. I hope you and Anthony are doing well. Out there in Queens. But Magno I hope the magnolias that are blooming and the Yoshino trees did well last night. Those trees are in full bloom across New York City at the moment. So a lot of places are blooming at the moment. The cherry esplanade over in the Brooklyn, Brooklyn uh, Botanical Garden hasn't begun blooming yet, but the Japanese garden, we saw that already, is in full bloom. And the uh, Magnolia Plaza is in full bloom. Hopefully it was able to withstand all the crazy winds we had last night. No statue yet. I, I wouldn't want a statue, Diane. I wouldn't want a statue. I wouldn't want a statue. We're good to see you. Good to see you, Jack Spencer. Welcome. Thank you so much to everyone who is hitting the like button. Much appreciated. We've got some people doing some serious photogra photography over there. Yeah, no, the fly balls will definitely hold tonight, yeah. You know, that's one of my favorite memories, Cliff. And it, it, it sucks that the brewery closed. But I have a lot of great memories. 
at the brewery, at the Coney Island Brewery. And one of my favorite memories was having a beer in front of the patio there, in front of the uh, brewery itself on one of those wooden tables, and a fly ball flying over, people yelling, watch for the ball, watch the ball! And the ball falls down, slams onto the table, the, my table, about maybe three, four feet from me. <laughs> I love that memory. Jose Torres, huepa, Puerto Rico, buenvenidos, Jose Torres. So many great places to see to blossom, so little time, yeah. Yeah. Yes, the vessel will reopen sometime this summer. It's only going to be the lower half of the vessel is going to be reopening. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. It's going to have netting and some kind of... It's going to have some kind of safety system. So nobody can jump from it. But, Activity 79. What a 10 Swedish Krona Super Chat. Activity 79. Thank you so much for your very generous 10 Swedish Krona Super Chat. Thank you so much for today's five Kronar Club two times today. Much, much, much appreciated with a big 10 Swedish Kronar Super Chats. Thanks for sponsoring the live stream. Activity 79, much appreciated. There you go, Derek. <laughs> there you go, Derek. Photos from around New York, good to see you, welcome. Hopefully the Brooklyn a brewery will be able to open well, here's the deal, guys. Yeah, no, the, the brewery space will be reopening as some kind of a bar. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be called the Sand Bar. Actually, let's go by there. Let's go, let's go check it out. We'll go check it out. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to have mesh covering it, yeah. Cynthia Ava, good to see you. Welcome. Uh, Cake813, welcome. Dr. Ray Ray's. Good to see you, Dr. Ray Ray's. Welcome on into the show. Love the beach. Yeah, it's going to be great, Cynthia. But yeah, Vessel will be reopening. And only the lower half of it, not the upper half. Uh, from what I hear, they're not going to allow people to walk the top tier of the Vessel. The Sandball, exactly. The, the Sandball will have a full menu and a lot of familiar faces. That's right, Jim. So I am, for one, happy and excited to see what transpires over at the sandbar. I'm looking forward to that. Hey, I could have a place with a beer and maybe get hit in the head with a fly ball. That's going to be a damn good night. I did not have my Duncan today, Cynthia. No, I did not. I, 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 did, I didn't work today. I might get a Duncan after the live stream. Uh, did I see any hidden UFOs in the clouds? No. No, no hidden UFOs in the clouds. Nay, nay, nay. Nay, nay, nay. <laughs> and oh my goodness. And Ramona just gifted five memberships of the Chmaz Plus. Ramona! Thank you so much for gifting five memberships of Dutch Miles Plus. And everyone, uh, let's see here. Leonard Smith, Yo Ange, Belinda Raymer, Sile Sack, and Ian Leiden. Good to see everyone. Thank Ramona for your free month of Dutch Miles Plus. And thank you so much, Ram Ramona, for sponsoring the live stream and the channel with five gifted memberships. It is much, 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 much appreciated. Much, much, much appreciated. Thank you so much. So nice of you, Ramona. Ramona breaking out the baby Yoda for the day. And I turned off the wrong graphic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We lost the clock. I want to get the clock back. <laughs> there we go. Now you guys see how I how I do this, how I make the show here. You're seeing the secrets. You're seeing the secrets. <laughs> yeah, little baby Grogu. That's right. Little baby Grogu. <laughs> so thank you so much, Ramona. That, much, much, much appreciated. Let me entertain you. Until the sun goes down. I see these clouds right along the horizon. That's either going to make, the, make the, the sunset really cool or it's going to kill it. 
Whenever you attend the game, you see at least five. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Cliff, yeah. Brooklyn Cyclones games, definitely games of foul balls. <laughs> I'm just quietly having my beer. Watch the ball, watch the ball. I'm like, what? Then the ball slams onto the table. And I'm like, ah, ha, 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 ha. Another day in Coney. Ooh, look at this. We're going to have a eclipse with the parachute jump with the sun. Have I ever seen a turtle on the beach? No, I haven't actually. I've seen everything else. I've seen, unfortunately, beached whale, small beached whales, and, and I've seen dolphins beached up here. Um, I've seen seals, and uh, yeah, but, 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 no, but no turtles, no turtles. Dwayne, good to see you out there in Alberta, Canada. Look at that, that's a screenshot right there. We're in the shadow of the parachute jump now. There you go, look at that, that's a cool shot. And Huberto Ortiz with a $5 super chat. Huberto, gracias for the very generous $5 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Huberto, for the kind words. Appreciate it. Let me entertain you, my friend. Let me entertain you. And there's a cool screenshot for you guys at home. Okay, really, let's really get it there for you guys. Yeah. Parachute jump. Can't go wrong. Isn't that a cool shot? Right, like a bird in flight, kind of, yeah. John Lawyer rescued a... Yeah, that's right, that's true, yeah. John Lawyer rescued a horseshoe crab. He let it live. <laughs> Let's go by the sandbar. Let me show you guys the sandbar, because I think they have some signage up. And we'll see what's going on over at the stadium. All right, that would make for a cool photo. That's how I know Coney Island Jim and all the Coney Island folks down here. It's because I come down here and do my little photography and stuff, and now I do my live streams. So that's how I get, got to know everybody down here. That's why you have so many Fireworks Friday uh, videos here on, on this channel. Going all the way back to 2011, we got Fireworks Fridays here on this YouTube channel. Taking a pic from your TV, nice. All right, let's walk on the, let's walk on the boardwalk for a little bit. Everything's closed. Everything's closed today. Good to see you there, Lee. And Edgar Gonzalez, buenvenidos. Mama and Papa Burger hanging on out here at Paul's Daughter. And look, the whole aquarium vinyl ad. What, what happened to the vinyl ad for the aquarium? I hope they recycled it. <laughs> I, I hope they recycled it. Oh, I miss all the murals that used to be right there. Oh, at least we got to enjoy them when we had them. But Karen J. McLean with a 279 Canadian super chat. Karen, thank you so much for the very generous $2 in Canadian. Canadian cents there, $2.79. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's live stream. Joining today's 279 Club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big 279 super chat. Much appreciated. I, I hope they let Danielle paint again, yeah. Hopefully they'll let her paint that wall over there again. Good to see you, Ron N. Welcome. That's the coolest shrimp in Coney right there. That's the coolest little shrimp in Coney. You gotta dress up before you eat the giant shrimp. But good to see you, Ron. Welcome, good to see everybody, people. I wanna thank everyone for hitting that like button so far. 
we have destroyed the two-thirds ratio and we've got the 100% ratio going, so that's a beautiful thing. Six forty-nine. Wee, six forty-nine, six fifty. Pos just posh shrimp, yes indeed. Ah, awesome, Arjun. Awesome. Happy I was able to help. That's posh shrimp. <laughs> That's all the Beckhams eat, right? It's posh shrimp. I think, of, I, think of, I hear I see posh shrimp and I think of the Spice Girls for some reason. <laughs> The food is great, absolutely, Dwayne. The food is great. Yeah, John, it got windy out. Yeah, the last couple of hours. The wind has picked up. I think we're gonna have a crazy sunset, I don't know. I see a little opening right at the horizon here. Nice, hopefully the Mets win tonight. Hopefully the Mets win. Coming up to uh, Nathan's on the boardwalk. I like how we have like a sleeping monster here when this place is closed. <laughs> Dreaming about hot dogs and cheeseburgers and fries. <laughs> oh, absolutely, Derek, yeah. Yes, indeed, photos, yeah. That's good news. I, I got, we got to do a walk around Willard's Point. Now that uh, they've okayed the construction, there is one building that was built quite a long time ago. I want to say 1940s that still survives and it's literally in the middle of the uh, coming development for Willits Point. Willits Point has a very interesting and very weird history when it comes to New York City. So I'm hoping to uh, tell that story in the near future. All right, we have made it to Stillwell Avenue. Stillwell Avenue and oh, I see a vision of beauty off in the distance. I see a vision of beauty. Let's give you guys a quick shot here. Yeah, because I think the sun's gonna go behind the buildings again. <laughs> oh, and the Duchess has a coffee. Of course, she has a coffee. Good to see you, 10K. Welcome. And yes, this is where they filmed right here at Stillwell and the boardwalk. This is where they filmed that warrior scene. Jay Chulo just became a member of Dutch Moz Plus. Thank you so much, Jay, for becoming a member of Dutch Moz Plus. Thank you so much for sponsoring the channel. Mwah. The Duchess has now joined me. And she has her coffee. I'm a little jealous you have your coffee. No, no, no. Maybe later. But Jay, thank you so much for becoming a member of Dutch Moz Plus. Yeah, no, Bay Ridge and, and the Coney Island Creek have a better view of sunset this time of year. Yeah, the Coney Island Creek, if we go to the other side, has a better view. But let's see what happens. What do we got here now? We're at about 35 minutes away from sunset and Caremax. Just gifted five memberships of Dutch Moz Plus. Caremax, thank you so much for gifting those five memberships of Dutch Moz Plus. And who won there? Denny, uh, C. Denny, Trisha, Steelhard, Tuak, and Davina McNally. 
thank Caramax for your month of Dutch Miles Plus. And Caramax, thank you so much for sponsoring the channel with five memberships to Dutch Miles Plus. Deeply, deeply appreciated, Caramax. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you and Ramona for gifting five memberships of Dutch Miles Plus. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with this crazy sky. And as the sun gets lower. Let's do a loop of the uh, stadium. And we're gonna show the new sandbar. We'll see the new sandbar. And then we'll make our way out onto the pier for sunset. So I know if we go all the way to the end of the pier, into the wind, <laughs> we'll catch the sunset. Oh, you got your hat? All right, good. Uh, have I seen the trailer for If with Ryan Reynolds? A lot of it was filmed in Coney. Really, Sampa? No, I haven't seen it. But now I got to go see it. So thank you so much for the heads up there, Sampa. I'm going to definitely check that out. A lot of movies showing off Coney. I mean, the Ghostbusters movie and all that, and My Mia, good to see you. Almost dark there, cloudy. Yeah. Oh, they, they're keeping this closed. Oh, wow, they're keeping this, uh, this, this area closed here. This is the new uh, log flume here. And Ramona with a $5 super chat. Ramona! Thank you so much for the very generous $5 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $5 super chat. Thank you so much also for donating those channel memberships. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $5 super chat. Good to see ya. Who's that there? Uh, Negrita. Good to see ya. Oh, love to see new places around you. Yeah, it's always nice to see new places. Always nice, right? Always a movie on the boardwalk. Yeah, but Ramona, thank you so much for the coffee fund. I will get a coffee with that. <laughs> I think this sun is going to go behind these clouds, but then again, I don't know. I have to stay out here for another half hour, I think. Oh. Yay! Oh wait, wait! You want to get a you want to get a picture of the parachute jump? Okay, no, I'm going to show you the spot. A little spot. There it is. Thank you so much, Neil. <laughs> oh, are we going to do a national anthem? Everyone, sing. Put, take off your hats. They can answer. Can't even hear. Oh, the rare parts we watch. <laughs> you guys want a wallpaper? We're about to get one. Oh, yeah, look at that sky over there. It's crazy. All right, the perfectly symmetrical shot. Please stream. <laughs> Play. 
Play ball. Play ball. All right. But Coffee First asks, how come they never open the parachute jump again? Because it'll be too expensive to modify and run the ride. It'll be too expensive. Uh, the coaster company Intamin did, it, did a, uh, a survey back in, I believe it was 2010, 2011. And uh, yeah, it was deemed to be too expensive to run as a ride in the modern world. Fireworks, uh, Fireworks Friday start up the second or third week of June. So right around Mermaid Parade time. Look at that sky. Wow, we got this. Look at that craziness over there. We can see the rain, everybody. Look at this. We could see the rain. Wow. And then if it hits just right, we might see a very crazy, uh, a crazy view. I thought that bird was a drone. I was like, that's a weird looking drone. I don't hear it. It's a bird. <laughs> hey, let's show, I want to show, show the guys the rain here. Look at this, guys. Look at the rain. Look, that's rain right there. Coming out of the clouds. I'm gonna look for the answer. Look at that. What is it? Is, is it raining over Staten Island right now? Or maybe, New, probably New Jersey. But that's rain. Now, if those, cl if those little spot rain showers were a little closer to us, we might be able to get a rainbow. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Not by you, all right, so that's, that's, that's New Jersey then. So when we look off in that direction, we're looking up towards the west. So that's Staten Island and New Jersey. We're now looking almost due south. So this is the ocean view. Then if we look east in that direction, that's the Rockaways in Queens. Getting a little dark there in Staten Island. Very windy. Yeah, the winds have really picked up in the last uh, in the last hour or so. Hopefully, Mary, hopefully we'll have a great sky this evening. Good to see you, Mary. That's what we're hoping for. We're now about 30 minutes away from our sunset. And we're gonna go all the way out to the end of the pier. see what kind of view we get. Well, welcome to the Seville Chase Pier. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. Sky is clear, but I think the rain is headed. Okay, the rain is headed there, okay. So the rain is heading towards you in Staten Island from New Jersey. New Jersey. Most of the people out here are fishermen. So a lot of people fishing because we're just coming off of the, I guess because we're just coming off the low tide. Tide's now coming in. Wow, what a crazy view. Wow, crazy, crazy view. Yeah, it's whipping up there, uh, there, uh, Cliff. Yeah, got a little windy out here. Winds are picking up, and maybe that's good for the fish. Maybe that's good for the fish. Yeah, I know, Derek. It's nice out here during the summertime. Yeah, looks good there in Williamsburg. Nice. Yeah, I think some parts of the city are going to get really nice, hello, <laughs> really nice sunset. <laughs> so, I don't know what they're fishing for, Colt. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's different seasons get different fish, so I don't know what we get. I know we get a few different types of fish. We get a few different types. All right, so the wind is not good to fish. 
John, what, what would they be catching right now? See, John knows because John goes fishing. Is, is it fluke or the, or the mededen, whatever the hell they're called? Wow. That's sky. Oh, there you go. Probably some striped bass. Some striped bass. Look at that. You can see the little, you can see the downpours of rain from here. And then you get that crazy effect. This probably looks really cool over on the, on the creek. This probably looks really cool over on the creek. On the creek side of Coney. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll start, we'll start walking back. Yeah, let's start walking back. Because I think we'll get a better view if we get to the end of the, oh, yeah. on the west end there, we'll get a nice view there. So we'll just walk back along the pier. We have, a, we have about 20, 23 minutes to make it back. I think we'll make it back with plenty of time. Jacqueline, good to see you. I'm glad you're enjoying the view. Yeah, let's head back. Let's head back. Mary us asks, do we ever get any water funnels? No, we don't get any water funnels. No. We have had in the past though, a tornado come off the water. And that was just to the east of us over on Plum Beach. What year was that? Was that 2008, 2010? I forget when the, when the, uh, when the thing hit. Still too early for bluefish. But, but we do get bluefish. See, I'm learning something. But we get bluefish. Hopefully the cyclones win tonight. And so, like Cliff mentioned earlier, a lot of fly balls probably getting some ant tonight. Fish reported to have been caught in Coney include fluke, striped bass, bluefish, tub girdened, a pink dentex, Atlantic herring, Atlantic bonito, and barmundi. Interesting. Are we buffering, guys? I don't think we're buffering. I haven't got any warnings about the signal. Like the clock there, Mirna, good to see you. Glad you enjoy the clock. All right, the rain is starting to clear up. Let's walk back. We'll walk towards the sunset, back down the boardwalk. Back down to the west end. Cliff Padilla caught a bluefish off of Sheepshead Bay once. Nice. Looking good there. Yeah, I don't think we had any issues with the signal. I think we're good. Haven't got any warnings and all that. Oh, the parachute jump lights just turned on. Oh, do you like how I roll my R's and S's? <laughs> Baramudi, right? Yes. Baramudi. Impressive view. Glad you're enjoying, Edgar. Yeah, Caramax. Yeah, I know I got a good signal. We're on two different networks. Actually, who was I watching? I was watching a live stream earlier today. Oh, it was the Pokemon guy. So I was watching a guy open up Pokemon cards from the, from uh, what's the name of that place? The Pokey, Pokey Spot? Yeah. Something like that, right? It's a hardcore Pokemon card place over on 14th Street. And you're gonna see you, Trisha. And uh, yeah, he was, he was opening cards live on stream and somebody was complaining that they were buffering out. And I'm like, he, he's inside a place with Wi-Fi. He has really good signal. He never buffed out for me. And then this person kept on saying, I'm buffering, I'm buffering. And then everyone's like, it's probably you. It's probably your signal. And then she was getting upset with other people in the chat. And it was kind of funny. But so, some Pokemon card people seem to be a little bit particular about stuff. So <laughs> I mean, that was kind of funny. 
getting good pools at the pokey spot. Good to see you there, uh, Norm, out there in Bangor, Pennsylvania. Welcome. We're walking back towards the West End now. And then after the stream, we're getting snacks at the supermarket. <laughs> Like the clock there, Arjan? Appreciate it. 7.10. That is military time, by the way. I'm surprised somebody said, why, why does it say 19? It's military time. What are we getting? Uh, groceries. <laughs> A whole bunch of stuff. We're getting ice cream, though. We've got to get those chip witches again. We're definitely getting the chip witches. <laughs> yeah, we need snacks, chip witches, and seltzer and stuff. So... That's what we're doing. And when I get home, I'll make myself a coffee. Because now I'm craving a coffee. <laughs> well, look at that sky, though. The sky is wild. Wild sky out here. Other than the fishermen... People walking dogs, most people out here. A lot of dog walkers out. Gotta get the seltzer. Chip witch. Yeah. Now, is it just me, Myrna, or chip witches are way smaller than they were back in like the 80s and the 90s? I remember chip witches were like huge back in the day. Now they seem a lot more smaller, a lot more compact. Do you like the lampposts? Yes. You going to have a coffee this late? Of course I am. I have coffees. When did I make a coffee the other night? I made a coffee the other night, like at like nine o'clock at night. <laughs> I could go to sleep on coffee, so. And I haven't had one yet today, so. <laughs> we got chocolate pudding and the Cool Whip. Yes, indeed. Everything has shrunk, yeah. But they have these nice mint chip witches. Highly recommend them. Yeah, inflation, yeah, probably. Right, everything was huge. Exactly, 10 bites, exactly. Do we have flavored creamers? No. No, I just, for my coffee, I just get milk and sugar, that's it. Yeah, chip, which is definitely smaller now. Good to see you, Susan. Yeah, inflation. Inflation, it's a real thing. I'm hoping by the time we get to the end of the pier, we're gonna have a really cool view. Uh, Colt, actually, we could get Tim Hortons delivered to our house in Coney. There's a Tim Hortons not that far from here. Sheepshead oh, Bay. right? Sheepshead, Sheepshead Bay. Right, Sheepshead Bay. Sheepshead Bay over in uh, Knapp Street. We got a Tim Hortons and we could get it delivered to our house. And we've had Tim Hortons delivered to our house in the past. Yeah, got a Tim Hortons in Staten Island. Oh my goodness. All the way from Glasgow, Derek Ferry with a 10 pound super chat. Derek, thank you so much for the very generous 10 pound super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's five pound club two times today. Much, much, much appreciated with a big 10 pound super chat. Derek just bought our ice cream and our seltzer. So thank you so much there, Derek. Much, 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 much appreciated. Much, much, much appreciated. Susan, good to see you. Yeah, Tim Horton was a hockey player. Yeah, I know about that theory. I know about that theory. Yeah, Tim Horton was fine, fine player there. <laughs> and now he's the coffee overlord of Canada. <laughs> Yeah, I knew that. I knew Tim Horton was a, was a hockey player there, eh? Good to see you, Karen. Yeah, exactly. Even the cover of the New Yorker is narrower. Yes, indeed, Karen. No, you know, actually, you just reminded me of something. The other day, I had a Facebook memory, and my Facebook post was, when did Rolling Stone become a pamphlet? 
<laughs> because I, I picked up an issue of Rolling Stone and it was so thin. Back in the day, Rolling Stone magazine was like massive. It was like a, right? I mean, the paper quality was good, exactly. And now it's like a little freaking nothing. Duncan, was Duncan a baseball player? <laughs> was Duncan a baseball player? What? That's cool. <laughs> I got, and now I gotta do more, more research on who Dunkin' Donuts is named after. I thought it was the guy that the the guy Duncan from uh, what was the name of that movie, Towering Inferno. I thought <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was the developer of the of the glass tower in San Francisco. That's why I thought it was the. That's who I thought Duncan was. I can't tell if that's like a radio show or people actually arguing. Yeah, that's like a radio thing. You sound like they're like yelling. You don't know. Yes, 30% chance of rain tomorrow. Uh, I don't think it's going to rain tomorrow. If it does, it's not going to last very long. Tim Duncan played for the Spurs. Oh, there you go. And he's a Dunkin' Donuts Harris, right? He's the one who, uh, who made Dunkin' Donuts what it is today. <laughs> wow, look at that sky. Crazy. As we learn about the coffee Harrises. Tim gave him a loan to start making Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, there you go. Do I know Tom Brady? You, do I know Tom Brady, but do I, but don't speak of him. I know about Tom Brady. Yeah, he's, he's a, a football player, I think, right? I'm not really much into the uh, sports balls. He has an expensive house. I know that. I know, I know Tom Brady has an expensive house somewhere in Tribeca. Oh, no, that's Tony Roma. That's Tony, that's Tony Roma. I heard he's a pizza Harris. He's a pizza Harris. Good to see you, Sabine Nagler, out there, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Oh, there we go. A guy named R William Rosenberg was the founder of Dunkin' Donuts. There you go. And Ramona with the whole started in Quincy, Massachusetts there, eh? There you go. Thank you so much, Ramona and Neil, for the information about Dunkin' Donuts. We now know the history of the Dunkin'. I'd always thought it was the guy Dunkin' from the Towering Inferno. That's why I thought it was. But now remember that when you're sipping on your Dunkin' at home. <laughs> we always learn so much on these live streams. We always learn so much. All the wind-blown sand up here. That sky is crazy. Now you're craving donuts, right? Marry me too. This is not good. I'm going craving snacks. I'm going to the supermarket. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> Time to make the donuts. Ah, Krispy Kremes. I, I never really like Krispy Kremes. More right, more rain down there. Might watch Showering Inferno later, Cliff. It's a fine movie to watch. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I wonder whatever happened to that building. Maybe they should have just, maybe they should have should leave it the way it is for all the bullshit in the world. <laughs> ah, there you go, Neil. Uh, Victor Rodriguez says that he used to live in a high rise in Coney Island facing the Verrazano Bridge. And he used to like watching the sunset. It's very beautiful. Yes, indeed. I wish me and the Duchess were up <laughs> in, a, in an apartment right now overlooking the skyline. Did I ever have a maple bar bacon donut? No, I did not. I never had a donut actually with... Have I had a do donut with bacon in it? Maybe I have actually, come to think of it. The, do the donut plant, I think, had a, ba had, had a donut once with bacon on it. And we had it. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, man. I want snacks. <laughs> yes, indeed, Cliff. Mercy Drives, you see some sunlight over there. Yeah, a little bit of sunlight over there. I probably have, yeah. From Donut, I think maybe from Donut Plant. Fun fact, with approximately 12,900 locations in 42 countries, Dunkin' Donuts is one of the largest coffee shop and donut chains in the world. Wow. Bloody hell, 12,900. That's insane. That's a whole lot of coffee. Your cleans are kind of boring compared to Dunkin'. <laughs> donut Pub, oh my God, Sampa, yeah. Don't, we walked past the Donut Pub yesterday, my love. We gotta go there. I gotta go to the Donut Pub and, get, and show you guys a proper black and white cookie. You guys deserve to see that. There's a lot of donuts, yeah, Louise. Now remember, Dunkin' Donuts are not actual donuts. They're more like, a, it's like a, a liquid that's injected into a mold and then they cook it up. I'm not a big fan of Starbucks. Yeah, take that, Starbucks. Krispy Kreme is the fast food of donuts with the sad face. There you go, Ann Davis. Good to see you. <laughs> I mean, for, for me, Krispy Kreme is like a lot of air, a lot of sugar, you know. Even though I did want to get their special limited edition Eclipse donuts at Krispy Kreme. They only sold that for three days. So no doubt the tourists bought them all. <laughs> wow, if that sun pops out, and it's, it's gonna be fast, but it's gonna be crazy looking. Tim, Hort Tim Hortons has pretty good donuts. Yeah, there we go. All the way out. Yeah, right? It looks like we're in a desert, right? <laughs> Karen, I'm glad you're enjoying this. Very relaxing indeed. The sun's straight ahead of us. I'm, wonder if, I'm wondering if it's going to light up all the clouds, though. That big cloud right there. It's all just starting, to down. Right, starting colors down there. Exactly, exactly, Caramax. That's true. Why does he, yeah, I know there's a Dunkin' Donuts in The Hague, yeah. This is like really random CB Earth Day, but that horrible, uh, that horrible uh, live streamer, what's his name, the Ice Poseidon guy? He's live streaming out in, in Europe and he was in The Hague recently. And he, yeah, he went, to, I think he went to that Dunkin' Donuts. Krispy Kreme was founded by Verdon Rudolph, who bought a yeast-based recipe from a New Orleans chef. He rented a building in 1937 at what is now the historic Old Salem, Winston, North Carolina. Okay. Sky does look cool. I'm hoping for the uh, sky to get lit up here. The sun is exhausted after the eclipse, yeah. It's a little tired. We're about eight minutes away. 
about eight minutes away to our sunset. A lot of people taking pictures and looking at these crazy clouds here. It's okay, Ramona. It's okay. Ramona, when you donate all those memberships, I get I, you could write paragraphs in the chat. I don't care. <laughs> really? Krispy Kremes are going to be sold at McDonald's? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, the Duchess knows about this. Uh huh. She goes. Confirmed. So, Colt, I'm actually walking back to my house now. Yeah. I'm actually walking back to my house now. So we're gonna end the live stream where we basically started it from. Nebul, are you late? Absolutely, we're about to, we're winding it down. Our sunset's happening right now, but good to see you there, Nebul. Buenvenu. Everyone follow Nebul, great live streamer from South France. Live streaming from the Bay of Saint Tropez. But yeah, I'm heading back to my house, walking in this direction here. He's all right, right? He's all right. He's all right. Ooh. And like I said, if we get a thousand channel members, me and the Duchess could live in these glass towers and I could live stream the sunrise and the sunset for you. <laughs> Love this live stream, John. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're enjoying it. You may be dating yourself what? Maybe dating yourself. You remember day, daylight donuts? That is dating yourself. I never heard of those before. <laughs> Are those cool donuts from the 60s? <laughs> oh, look at that sky. Something else. Irina, Irina, good to see you. Oh, well, kind of a kind of a sunset. I mean, it's right now. Let's see if it lights up any of these clouds before it goes beneath the, uh, the horizon. We're now about uh, five minutes away, four minutes away, four minutes away from sunset. It's nice having that clock on the screen. I can tell you exactly when. Now, Karen, yes, <laughs> just give you a Milano and you'll be happy. You and the Duchess. <laughs> just, just a Milano. You'll be good. It does look pretty against the clouds, yeah. Yeah, this is where I live at, Carl. Not that far from here. How old? Well, these apartments here are brand new, Derek. These, these buildings are only about a few years old. But the other apartment buildings that you saw along the way, they were all, a lot of those were built between the 60s and the 1950s. But if we get a thousand channel members, I could afford to live inside Ocean Drive. And I'll live stream the sunrise and the sunset. Every day. <laughs> so we're in Coney Island, Carl, and we're walking towards Seagate. And Seagate is the west end of the Coney Island there. <laughs> Urban renewal, yeah. Natasha, good to see you. It was pretty cool there, Maria, yeah. All right. I don't think... Yeah, the sun would be right there. I don't think we're going to see anything, but it looks crazy nonetheless. But this is the very southern point of Brooklyn. We're on the most western point of Coney Island called Seagate. And this is kind of the entrance of New York Harbor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.
Wow. Well, there it is. Sunset is right about now. There's a, there's a downpour straight ahead. People are getting rainbows, I have a feeling. <laughs> But it's always nice to take the train down from Manhattan. Yes, indeed, Carl. We've made it back. We've done a loop. We're back at West 37th Street. And on the other side of this gate is Seagate. Yeah, Gravesend Bay around the bend. That's right. Wow, it's okay. I think that's gonna be it. Right there. Got some more downpours of rain. Look at the rain over there. Wow. You see the rain. Scuba divers around yet? No, not yet. No scuba divers just yet. It is pretty. I don't think it's scuba diving season just yet. Get that pole out of the way. <laughs> well, I think that's going to be it for our sunset. We didn't get much of anything, but we got something. We got a little something. You can see those downpours of rain over there. More than welcome, everybody. Carlos, you have a good night too. Everybody have a good night. If, if it's your first time finding this nonsense, make sure to subscribe to the, to the Dutch Moz Family Networks here on YouTube and on Instagram, all same name at Dutch Moz. Make sure you hit the notification bell because I never know when I'm going to go live next. We'll be back again at this again tomorrow, so stay tuned. But from the west end of Coney Island, this is Dutch Moss signing off. Have a fantastic Coney Island day, whether you live here or not. Hug your loved ones, cherish those moments. And good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. And thank you so much to everyone who donated Super Chats. Shout out to everyone who donated uh, channel memberships and all that stuff. Thank you so much, guys. Much, much appreciated. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.